Lieutenant! Lieutenant! You damn ungrateful fools! Yeah. The Bleak and the Heroes have helped protect this city for over 10 years. Yeah. It seems everyone has forgotten about the mutant rats released by the Justice. Mm -hmm. Or the amnesia raid that the Puffin plan to use. The Bleak and the Heroes never give up on Capital City. And now it's time for us to return the favor. Lieutenant, what about the Bleak? Where is he? Look, that's all I have to say for the moment. What are you the department is currently working on the plan to bring in Aphrodite. As far as the Bleak is concerned, some qualified individuals really are helping them overcome the stuff. Where is Drew Lieutenant Hobbs? Is the Blake out of commission? Lieutenant Hobbs, one last question. Are those bugle boy jeans you're wearing? Those were the sentiments of Police Lieutenant Warren Hobbs, one of the strongest supporters of Blake, Capital City's most infamous superhero. That is just one of the views that will be expressed tonight on CCN News' special report, Superhero or Super Menace. Now, six weeks ago, Capital City was introduced to a brand new supervillain. Stan Gibson has that story. Stan? Eyewitnesses report that the Blink and his sidekick Wonderboy arrived on the scene to apprehend Aphrodite. Instead of capturing Aphrodite, Capital City's number one defender of justice was seen leaving the scene performing what one eyewitness describes as hot, wet, gooey, monkey-like knob stroking. Earlier today, we spoke to mayoral candidate City Councilman Mark Randall regarding the superhero Wait, controversy. We don't need superheroes to protect us. That's what the police are for. They're as dangerous as the so-called supervillains they protect us against. Capital City needs leadership, not an army of costume freaks. We caught up with a few of the heroes here at Symposium Manor. We spoke to Incubus, who has been under fire by the Christian Coalition. We asked Incubus what it is like to be a superhero in these trying times. It was never really easy for me to be a hero. I mean, at first glance, I can appear pretty scary. I know the fact I look like the Antichrist bothers people and all, but I'm really a nice guy. I think heroes are good for Capital City. And I am proud to be a hero. Don't jive me, sister. I know you know where the money is. Oh, detective. I'm sorry. I don't know where the money is. But I wish there was something that I could do to help you. Oh, that's such a big gun. Oh. Why, yes. It is a big gun. Yeah, babe. Mm. Who's your daddy? You. Oh, yeah. to wake up, Mr. Logan. I 
looking at me wake up like that. Damn, Krista, I don't come over your house and molest you. You would if you could. Anyway, I didn't molest you, I peeked. Don't peek at me, that shit isn't cool. I don't come over your house and peek at you. I don't appreciate you coming in here looking at me. I don't come to your house and do that. Hey, you don't have a key to my place. Anyway, I don't sleep butt naked. Where's my key? As a matter of fact, give my key back. You cannot be trusted. I want it back. Okay. Sure thing, Pee Wee. But uh, tell me, who is going to water your plants, feed your fish, Send out your fax messages and get your mail while your sleeping butt naked ass is out of town. What? Thank you. Let me get a sip. A sip, okay? What's wrong? What? What's wrong? Might be something left over from breakfast. Oh, come. That is. Just keep it. Just keep it. You're so nice to me. Oh, don't worry, baby. I am the law. Why are you watching this? Excuse me. Why were you watching it last night? Because it, it helps me get some sleep sometimes. <laughs> so, even when it's a manual job, it still knocks you right out, huh? Whatever. It, it's a God thing. You wouldn't even understand. I certainly hope you are not sleepy now. Because <laughs> I really don't think I could take that this early in the day. You know what? No. If you want me to leave, I could get out your way, you know? You are full of jokes today. I swear, you just <laughs> full of jokes today. <laughs> Who do you think would make love better? Superman or Batman? Superman. He could make love to you flying around all around the room and all that stuff. I don't know. He probably blow a hole in my back, <laughs> cripple my ass for life. <laughs> what about the Flash? The Flash? All right, true. Uh -uh. True. You know what? I think Batman would be the bomb in bed. Why? Cause, yo, he, he's so tortured, you know? He, both his parents murdered, mm -hmm. he runs around town all night chasing villains. I bet when he finally finds time to do the nasty, he can tear some poo-poo up. <sighs> Sex is just a great stress reliever, and that man is stressed. I swear, I would, I would let him wrap me up in that cape. And then I would unbuckle his utility belt. And if he ever got a taste of this, the back cave would definitely be closed for the night. <sighs> so, 
How'd it go yesterday? Well, your meeting with the producers. How'd it go? Oh, uh, <laughs> this is how it went. Here's a copy of my script. It's a comedy and also a reel of some of my other work. I must admit, you're not at all what we expected. Yeah, people say I sound a lot older on the phone. I see. Well, if you read the script, I guarantee your company will be very interested in producing my film. It's a comedy, and comedies are big nowadays, you know? Mr. Logan, we produce political films here at 4R. We have to be more tolerant in these difficult times. We are in a delicate position here at For Our Films, Mr. Logan. I make films, that's all I know. If it means directing a political film, so be it. Your dedication to the art of filmmaking is most refreshing. I like to keep it real. <coughs> Ich würde vorschlagen, dass du dich Aber Hans, Ort zusammen Hans. Ich weiß genau, was ich tue und handle im Interesse des Reiches. Und vergiss nicht, ich bin dein Boss und du hast meinen Befehlen zu folgen. Quite frankly, Leopold has some concerns about somebody of your kind directing this film. But I assured him that it would be in the best interest of the Reich. Media relations and such. I feel you on air. You are wise to align yourself with us, Mr. Logan. When the day of reckoning comes, we will treat you most fairly. We will, of course, compensate you handsomely for your services. Hey, Hans, this film of yours, Triumph of the Spirit, this is some other shit that reminds me of something I studied in the film. The triumph of the will is the film you refer to. We want the world to know that we may not yet be able to exercise our will, but the spirit, the spirit will live on. Fourth Reich needs associates like you. You're eager to make films, are you not? You're Nazis. Your point being... I'm not a Nazi. A small compromise we're willing to make. As a Negro, we do not expect you to easily accept our views. Did you just say Negro? What fucking year are you from? Do not throw this opportunity away, Mr. Logan. Not too long ago, that man would have been executed for his disrespect. All right, who's our next interview? Heimer Goldenberger, my goodness. Truly is difficult being a soldier of the fatherland in these trying times. They were Nazis. Nazis? You, you mean like Indiana Jones Nazis? What? Like in Raiders of the Lost Ark. I, I don't know, Krista. They, they were Nazis. <laughs> Yo, only you could run across filmmaking Nazis. So, so what's next? I, I don't know. I mean, what? What the hell harm could there be in directing this film? I mean, it's better than doing nothing you know, at all. You know what, you sound real stupid. I... I've been running around here, pitching this script, trying to get a real gig for six months. I mean, working at the cable station, maybe paying the bills, but it definitely ain't advancing my career. And I'm... how many silly pet tricks can people of this town watch? I mean, this is all bullshit. Billy Patrick's is a funny show. God. You're lucky you even have a job, especially when it allows you so much free time. What you need to do, you need to stop bitching and keep it real. 
When you least expect it, that's when it'll happen. It's Murphy's Law. Keep it real. Yes. Fight the good fight. Stay focused on your goals. That's the key to success. Fight the good fight. <laughs> All right. I will fight the good fight. <laughs> You've been reading those too much. Well, the new shipments are in. Pee Wee. Did, did you call me Pee Wee? I meant it in a nice way. Honest. <laughs> Hey Frank. Hey guys. Everybody does. <laughs> the new oh, issue of Detective like Comics is out. Oh, let me see. Oh, I like this artist. No. Oh. oh, should I get that or the new issue of Spawn? I'll spot you. Ah, oh, decent. See, what would I do without you? Yeah. Cool. Hey Frank, when did these come in? Uh, those came in last Thursday. <laughs> Makes me wish I was a kid again. Ah, uh, Xavier, are you and Christelle, uh... We're, you we're, know. We're just friends, Frank. <laughs> oh, man. She is so hot. I would go straight to hell for what I would do to her. <laughs> She's okay, Frank. Man, you guys been hanging out all those years and you never test drove the pooty? Never test drove the pooty. Damn, you got problems. Hey, Cristal. What's up? <laughs> hey, X-Man. Hey, Warren. What's up, man? For you, man? What's going on? You know I work for Power 103, right? Uh, I know you're not trying to sell me some Puff Daddy tickets, man. No, dog. Why are you trying to play me? But I do have some Fuji tickets if you're interested. <laughs> oh, see, no, no. I know. Listen, I know. listen, listen. We're running this promotional campaign. I just wanted to make sure you knew about it. Is this for real? You love me, right? Yeah, it's the, the producer from Chrysalis Films. Howard Burroughs? That's the cat. Yeah, he's running some sort of talent search. He's meeting local filmmakers to check out their work. It's some sort of promotional campaign for his company's new division or something. Hey, Frank, let me use the phone. Is it a toll call? Frank, will you let me use the damn phone, please? Come on, Frank! I got it, I got it. Thanks. Hello, yes. I'd like to set up an appointment with uh, Howard Burroughs. Xavier Logan. Yes, I have a reel. I have that too. Uh, to tomorrow at two, I have to work. Yeah, yeah. Come on. yeah I won't. Hello? Whoa. Hello? What are you doing? Come on. Hey, Hello? I'm, I'm sorry. We must have got disconnected. Yeah. Tomorrow at two, that'll be perfect. Hey, Thanks. Yes! <laughs> man! Go ahead with that, son. Word dog don't roll like that. Give some dapper. <laughs> Shake a hand next time, B, huh? Hey, shit. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes! Oh, I knew it! He's hitting that cheese. Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> Look at some.
some comic books over here. Sir, sir, sir. Uh, people have been complaining about your monkey. He's been getting overly friendly with the other animals. Dexter! You should be ashamed of yourself. This is your big break. Do you want to throw it all away in a moment of passion? Hello. Nice lizard. This is getting crazier every day. You're here early. What's up? Think you could cover for me tomorrow? Oh, come on, man. Of all days? Come on, it's important, man. I have an interview with Howard Burroughs tomorrow afternoon. Howard Burroughs? For real? Yeah, man. I just called up his office and set up an appointment, and I have to be there tomorrow, too. All right. If Harry says it's OK. I owe you, man. Yeah, you damn right you owe me. You keep me in mind when you make that deal. All right, man. Thanks a lot, man. Ah, oh, sir, your monkey! Harry? Not now, Xavier. Some asshole just lost his Brazilian hissing spider. Big ugly son of a bitch. I hate bugs. Arachnid. What the hell are you talking about? Spiders are arachnid, not bugs. Well, thank you for the valuable lesson, Mr. Peabody. <laughs> you're here early. I hope you're not here to ask for more time off. Harry, I'm sorry, but I have a very important meeting tomorrow. Kid, we have a farm animal special, and I need you there. I know, I know, but Mills said he would cover for me. <sighs> Xavier, we worked out your schedule so you wouldn't have to miss any more shows. Harry, I know, but just this once. It won't happen again. All right, this is the last time. Just help me find this damn spider. Harry, don't be such a pussy. It's just a spider. I'm not a pussy, you smartass. I just hate spiders. <laughs> Kid? Xavier? Kid? <laughs> Yo, it looked like <laughs> Harry had dreadlocks growing out of his back. I swear to you. I swear to you. <laughs> Yo, but by the time I found the owner, Harry was passed out on the floor. <laughs> but look, look, look. The wild thing was, there was this monkey in the corner fondling this lizard. Shut I up. Swear oh, get out of here. I swear to you, it was the nastiest thing I've ever seen. The nastiest. All right, all right. So you got the time off. So what about this meeting with Howard Burroughs? I think I'm going to do pretty OK. It's going to be all right. Yeah. Yeah. So what if it doesn't go well? Damn, Pristyle, you don't want to always tell me to be positive. Look, I'm just trying to keep it real, alright? Well, you know me, and I'm always ready to fight the good fight. Uh-huh. Like you fought that spider earlier, right? <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm not no, your friend. No, no, you're going to do fine. Okay, you better wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Burroughs. Your name? <laughs> Logan. Xavier Logan. I bet you've been waiting to say that all day. <laughs> Take a seat. Take a seat. Officers are 
a bit smaller than I expected, but but it's nice though. First, I thought I was at the wrong office. This is the right office. Oh, okay. You must see a lot of crazy things around here. How long you been working here? I'm sorry to bother you. I, I can see that you're busy. Logan, Xavier, Logan is here to see you. Reschedule him. I've had my fill of crap for the day. H hold on. I have an appointment and I need to see him today. Who are you yelling at? Look, I'm sorry, but I have an appointment. And you don't cancel an appointment five minutes after the fact. Look, I took off from work today and I don't even know if I'm going to be able to come back. And what does it have to do with me? <sighs> when would you like to reschedule? Jeez, are you listening to me? How dense are you? Oh, no, you did not. Oh, yes, I did. Hey, what, what the hell is going on out here? An ass being in about 10 seconds. Look, I was just telling Shanene over what? here. What? That's right, Shanene oh, over see, here. Oh, see, you talk Shh. too much. I have an appointment, and all I need is 10 minutes, Mr. Burroughs. Fine. 10 minutes. Thank you. Hi. Hey. Julia Hi. Martin. Hey. Hey, I know you. You you produced the Golden Falcon. I did. Oh, I love that movie. That was oh, one of my favorite. You're real, please. Oh, okay. Here you go. Thank you for your time. What what was that? You you didn't even watch it. I've seen enough. Okay. Well, what what about the script? What well, what about it? Aren't you aren't you going to read it? It's a great script. It's a comedy about a superhero who loses his powers and ends up in therapy. <laughs> I see. The blink, eh? All right, Mr. Logan. Tell me about your movie. Okay. All right, it's... So there you have it, Doctor. Aphrodite has cursed me in ways that you cannot imagine. Blink, you are still the commander of the Symposium of Heroes. That does mean something to a lot of people. Please, Doctor, dispense with your professional pleasantries. As far as I'm concerned, my name is synonymous with anything foul and disgusting. The citizens of Capital City were confused by your sudden outburst. There's no denying that. But in time... Outburst. Well, what a pleasant and clever euphemism for teleporting down the streets of Capital City, terrorizing its citizens. Tell me, Doctor, how would you feel if an entire community could do nothing more than to cower at the mention of your name? A community that you've served faithfully for more than ten years. I'm not quite sure. Oh, of course you're not sure, because you were not the one caught masturbating in the middle of Capitol Square, were you? And the media, well, they've virtually destroyed me. And they've forced me to hide out in, in this, this shack above a bus station. Uh, Councilman Randall and his anti-superhero campaign on CCN, the, the unauthorized biography on A&E. Blink updates on hard copy. Yeah, hard copy, a, a clever, clever little tie, and I must admit, but mortifying nonetheless. Dr. Moore. 
My actions have placed all the heroes of Capital City in jeopardy. What was that? Don't worry. No one's going to find us here. It's only Wonder Boy, see? What's up, Doc? from my special potion, do you? <laughs> DNA is enough for you, isn't it? Mm. But I must say, for a man, you did an excellent job. Your anti-superhero campaign is a complete success. When we get rid of the superheroes, we'll rule Capital City together. The city has turned its back on the symposium of heroes. People can be so ungrateful. I guess that's why our job is so easy. Since I've already disgraced the heroes, the only thing left to do is destroy them. Once I have done that, Capital City will be defenseless. Oh, so excited. Thanks so much. You excited. You are indeed the queen of Capital City. All those who pose you shall perish. <laughs> I'm totally aware that you're piece of slime. <laughs> yeah, I am a piece of slime, aren't I? I'm a bad slime, huh? Mmm, mommy tastes so good. Ah, oh, you sick little monkey. Curse the media! They'll report anything as news. A man wearing spandex jerking his stick on Main Street is news. Don't make me come over there and snatch that W off your chest, you little shit! Blink. Uh, Dr. Moore, Wonder Boy and I have a few differences of opinion as to how to handle this situation. First of all, we should be out there bringing in Aphrodite. Now is not the time, Wonder Boy. Blink, please. Thank you for coming, Wonder Boy. Yeah, sure. That's his department. You insolent little bastard! I heard that! I think insulting each other like this is not helping the situation any. Insult? I tell you about insult. I'm still wearing my underwears on the outside of my fucking uniform. Isn't this the late 90s? Nobody wears their underwears on the outside. Well, it's the tradition for sidekicks to wear outer briefs. It distinguishes the hero from the sidekick. Tradition. I'm 22 years old and I still have to wear this sorry ass excuse for a costume because of tradition. Look at me. I look like a male prostitute. Please, Wonder Boy. First of all, from here on, call me the hammer. Oh, how ridiculous. Blink. So, tell me about your new identity as the hammer. Well, my new uniform is more 21st century. Spandex is out. Molded body armor with Calver Colden is the shit. But it won't be ready till Wednesday. What spandex lacks in appearance, it makes up for in comfort and practicality. Molded body armor. <laughs> this wonder boy, this is 100% blink. There are no rubber enhancements. That's all you can do is cut me down. You want to be right all the time. You don't do anything but preach from your pedestal. When blink speaks, all his subjects must listen. If I'm wrong, correct me. Yeah. 
Uh, don't, don't mind me, please. Con continue. Oh, by the way, these tests show that your system is completely screwed. But I have a plan. Well, tell me, Doctor, what is the, uh, what is the plan? I'm going to set up the Flux Isolator, which will neutralize your teleportation abilities. So is it, uh, safe? Uh, I think so. Yes. In theory. Here. We are trying our best to help Blink. But he's gonna need your help as well. Sorry about earlier, Blink. Yeah, little buddy, this whole thing has us both on edge. That's what I came here to talk to you about. I'm going to bring Aphrodite in. What are you, insane? Is your brain completely protected by that thick skull of yours? I have to do this. Aphrodite strikes wherever and whenever she wants. If I don't try to stop her, who will? I have a plan. A plan? Yeah, a plan. And does your plan take into consideration that she can have you running the streets playing Pop Goes the Weasel with Little Wonder Boy there? Hey, I thought you knew. I got this hero thing on lockdown. I can handle it. And it's Little Hammer now. You know, uh, what, uh, Hammer, the underwear on the outside, it, it is a bit outdated, but I bought this for you from the Young Active Hero Department at Bloomingdale's. I mean, it's not Kevlar coating, but it'll tide you over until your new hammer uniform is ready. Thanks, but I don't know about that. Hey, hey, little buddy, this is top of the line here. I mean, it's Tommy uh, Goldfinger or whatever. I mean, what do you say? Come on, little buddy. Okay, okay, blink, thanks. All right. Now you remember, Aphrodite is smart, cunning, and she has an ass that you can bounce a quarter off of. It's heads up out there, little buddy. I try to remember that. You take care of yourself. Don't worry. I can handle Aphrodite. Hopefully this device will neutralize the sexual dysfunction created by Queen Aphrodite. What does it, uh, what does it do? Oh, lots of stuff. Technical stuff. Well, what kind of technical stuff? All oh, brain, cortex, cerebellum stuff. It's all good stuff, trust me. Portland, you break this and be spending the rest of your days in a padded room with a box of Kleenex and an industrial jar of petroleum jelly. Listen to me, Kirkland. The masturbation thing, it bothers me. But I am not looking to get my brain fried. Let me see if I can put this into here, I'll speak for you. Queen Aphrodite uses some sort of advanced neurotoxin to control her subjects. This is bad. There's currently an imbalance in your system which increases 1,000% every time you attempt to teleport. This is what causes your episodes. This is worse. This system will stimulate your cerebral cortex, which will, in theory, purge Queen Aphrodite's neurotoxins from your system. This is good. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, brain, uh, frying, frying. Tell me more. We do have safety procedures in place, but there is a small possibility that you could lose your blinking powers forever and or your mind. Now, how could this have happened? There has never been a report of anyone suffering any long-term effects from Aphrodite's spell. This is not a spell. This is an amazing feat of chemical engineering. Listen. When you attempted to teleport, immediately after exposure to her neural toxins, they became embedded into your natural algorithms. Honestly, the, the effect could have been worse and a lot less pleasant. 
I promise I will do all I can to make sure that your brains don't splatter all over the room. Splatter? Of course, that is the worst case scenario. Mommy. Not the feet. Not the feet. Must be the KO kid. Oh my. Capital City's number one lap dog. The hero formerly known as Wonder Boy. Now, shouldn't you be home cleaning up after the blink? <laughs> Councilman Randall, what brings you out from underneath your own rock? You interrupted delicate negotiations with Queen Aphrodite. Looks like the only thing we interrupted was your toe jam lunch. Oh, Jam, do you, my queen? <laughs> you boys want to rumble? Come and get your dose of bus ass. I got plenty of it to go around. Treaty after I'm done smacking on your goon squad's ass, huh? <laughs> there has been a new development regarding the superhero menace. I'm here at what is believed to be the lair of Queen Aphrodite, where a team of rogue superheroes the interrupted negotiations, negotiations between Aphrodite and demanded Queen and Aphrodite Council. surrender. The heroes in question are Lightning Girl, the KO Kid, and the hero formerly known as Wonder Boy, partner to the now infamous Blink. Wonder Boy is believed to be the leader of the failed attempt to bring Queen Aphrodite in. This just in. We have word from Councilman Randall, who barely escaped horrible. with his life. The heroes are solely responsible for the horror that awaits. Queen Aphrodite has enslaved decent capital city residents. <laughs> we could have reached a peaceful agreement. Remember, we'll put in the next election. Oh man, what's the plan? It looks like Queen Aphrodite will burn Symposium Manor to the ground. Best of luck, superheroes. How's Blink? Mm, Dr. Kirkland has the purge process set up. Everything seems to be going according to plan. We have to warn the others. No, no, no. I, so. I can't let them destroy the manor. Look, I still got some juice left. I can run at the others to help defend the manor. Please be careful. Sure thing. And, uh... Take care, Blake. I'll be there soon. I know. I am doing delicate work here. I don't appreciate people zooming in and out of here messing up my, my equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you guys, you gotta come in here. Man, this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> go on, Xavier. Go on. Go on. Tell them. Okay. Well, Lightning Girl is on her way to warn the others at Symposium Manor. Okay? Then. Oh, shit. Look at him go. He's been at this for the last 45 minutes. Is that good? Well, Dr. Kirkland says that he has to, you know, before... Uh-huh. Climaxed. I think that is the word you two mature adults were looking for, but it is not that simple. Queen Aphrodite's neurotoxins have to be replaced with the Blink's normal brave wave patterns. He should be as good as new, barring any unexpected complications. <clears throat> like this. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, what's a snap meet? Unless we missed something, the blink did not achieve sexual climax. What does that matter? Just unhook them. Look, we went through this in great detail while you and your friends were getting your brains bashed in. Blink! Turn it off! Look, let me do my job. I don't go around telling you how to catch bad guys, do I? I've got this science thing I locked down. He's replacing Queen Aphrodite's neurotoxins with his own. He's overriding the program. He should be allowing the computer to do it for him. Ugh. Hey there, little buddy. Toxins were very powerful. That device of yours, Kirkland, allowed me to achieve a level playing field against them. However, the device was not strong enough for me to combat them. So you mean you purged them yourself? Is that what I did? I don't know, did you? It was just mind over matter. Never underestimate the power of the human mind, Doctor. Underestimate his mind? You don't want me to go there. How do you feel? Well, to tell you the truth, I... I feel great. I feel like a cigarette, but, uh, I feel great. Well, Helen, can I have some fries to go along with that shake of yours? Doc, what's wrong with him? It's nothing to worry about. He's in a euphoric state. I expected this. It'll wear off in due time. Helen, I never noticed how beautiful you are. Your buttocks all nice and round. Your tatas poking out through your blouse. Woohoo! Yes, Helen, I can see them looking at me. Let me show you my secret identity. Blink, it's all good with you trying to get your map on and all, but we gotta save some cozy and manner. Cool! Are you sure you two are okay? Hey, unfortunately, I got this hero thing on lockdown. Yeah, 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 the lockdown thing, we all know. Remember, Blink, you still have traces of Queen Aphrodite's Pearl Thompson. Here is the first batch of antitoxin spray. Do not try to teleport too much or too far. Uh, better take my car. Right, Kirky. Plant you now and dig you later, sweet meat. Randall. That conniving little worm, he has screwed with the wrong hero. I think he's under Aphrodite's control. I don't give a gopher's left nut what he's under. Damn. What is it? I want some pussy. My god, I'd kill for some pussy, do you know that? Uh, no, I didn't know that. Hey, stay on your side of the car. Right. Believe how fucking stupid you are. What? You are an idiot. Your script is a piece of hack written garbage. But I, I thought that. Well, you see, that was your first problem. You thought. You suck! And your script sucks. Keep your job at the cable station, boy. You don't have what it takes. How are you? Oh, shut the fuck up! I told you this brilliant idea of yours would not work. You are a nutcase. I'm a nutcase. Now you That's need rich. to get your ass out of my office. Who do you think you were dealing with when you tried to strong arm your way in here? And you've got the nerve 
to waste my time with this shit. But I, I thought you guys liked it. You, you guys were laughing. I mean, if, if you didn't like it, why were you laughing? I mean, come on now. First of all, you little maggot, don't tell me what I like. Second, learn the difference between someone laughing with you and at you. Now, get the hell out of my office. Get out! Howard, that was totally uncalled for. Juliet, shut up and get me a yoo-hoo. Get your own goddamn yoo-hoo. Not the case! Xavier Logan, did you forget about our dinner date? Xavier, did something happen at your meeting? Give me a call. I hope you're okay. Just call me. I need to speak to you. Xavier, are you there? I'm gonna leave to go to Vancouver. I'm gonna take this job as a production assistant and I'm, I'll be leaving at the end of the month. At least I'll be doing something halfway decent. So you're just gonna leave me? I can't believe how selfish you are. Yo, is this how you fight the good fight? Is this how you keep it real? No. I'm not gonna let you give up on us like this. I can't keep this up. God, then step away from it! There's other things in this world that have value besides film. Film is the only thing I know. Well, your friendship is the only thing I know. <sighs> Savior. I know, I understand that film has always come first with you. But our friendship, I treasure it. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. I don't know, you know this. There's just nobody else like us.
there. Somebody's at the door. Batman might be a trap. Who is it? Uh, Julia Martin from Howard Burroughs' office. Uh, what do you want? Uh, is Xavier Logan here? He came to our office a few weeks ago. He is sleeping, okay? <laughs> Who is it? Someone from Burl's office. What? Yeah. You, you tell that goddamn how Burl's he didn't oh. kiss my. Like I was saying, you tell that um, damn how Burl's. Do you kiss remember my... me, Julie Martin? Uh, look. I just, I, I came by to apologize. Howard, uh, Howard's actions were absolutely inexcusable, and I should have said something, but he can be a bit of a bastard. I don't have to <laughs> okay, tell you. now if you'll excuse No, wait, 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 wait. I, I also wanted to let you know that I severed my ties with Howard, and I and a few others from the company have decided to form our own company, and, okay, look. <laughs> Your script, The Blink, it was really promising, and we'd like to help you develop your ideas. <laughs> it's not going to be easy, but we can help you, and in turn, you'll really be helping us. Okay, look, um, here's my card. Just think about it. Uh, give me a call on Monday. Uh, sure. sure. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Some good stuff. <laughs> so you did it, Mr. Logan. You fought the good fight. <laughs> <laughs> you do know why I fight the good fight, don't you? Oh no. <laughs> don't do Batman. I am Batman. <laughs> That's not fair. I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Link, my dear, what brings you here? I thought you'd be off in a dark corner somewhere. Excuse me, I have a manor to destroy. I am here to take you in. I know you won't be. I know. You can't resist me. So be a good little boy and go play with your little soldier. <laughs> I guess you're with me, sweetie. <laughs> you almost lost it, huh? If the wind blows the wrong way, it's all over. Destroy the manor! Targon, thank you. Hey, good job, man. Hell. All right. You know, Blink, we can make a movie about this shit. We can market Blink action figures with battle action masturbation. Huh? What do you think? Oh, that's very nice. And we could have a Wonder Boy action figure that complains all day and makes bad jokes. My jokes ain't bad. But you know, you saved the city, put your arch enemy behind bars, I ain't got some play in the process. You the man. Wonder Boy, by God, I thought you knew. What? I've got this hero thing on lockdown. You know that's my catchphrase, right? I'm serious. Don't go stealing my hook.